wasn't what I wanted. At all. At all. At all. At all. Why not? That was just a small excerpt from one of the many videos on this channel. I'm sure your first feeling when watching that was one of... confusion? Possibly fear? The cold, isolated vocals echoed behind a track that only invokes a sense of dread or, again, fear. Fear of what? The unknown? I don't know. And if you're like me, then you're probably wondering, what is the meaning behind this? What's the context behind this? What's the inspiration in just who made this? Well, sadly, I can only answer one of those questions. This YouTube channel is listed under the alias, Aliantos. Created in June of 2013, this channel has around 7 million total views. Their only two links are to a Patreon and a SoundCloud, both of which belong to them. On their Patreon, you can have your own video commissioned by Aliantos themselves, and on the SoundCloud you can find all of the eerie music used in the productions in their highest quality. As far as ways to describe this creator goes, that's about all I can do. I'm serious. Eliantus's source of passion, inspiration, identity are all entirely, indefinitely, intentionally hidden. My original idea for this video was thought of over a year ago when I first found this channel. I wanted to do my usual spiel. You know, introduce the channel, give stats, give context, maybe uncover unknown details about them. But in this case, that's just not possible. So I scrapped it. I mean, at that point, they hadn't made a video in over two years, so I thought, what's the point? But then, May 21st, 2021. It was a rather slow day. I had just gotten back from work with nothing better to do, so I sat down, booted up Silent Hill 2, and just got lost in immersion. That's when I get this notification. Alientos has just uploaded a video. I thought that this channel was good as abandoned. Luckily, I was sorely mistaken. I immediately opened up a doc and started writing what I felt. Just like that, the video was back on. It was no coincidence that the video that I showed at the beginning of the video was the new one that had just come out. It was fresh on my mind and reminded me of why I was so interested in the channel in the first place. Since I can't uncover anything about Aliantos, I may as well do the next best thing. Get inside their mind and understand the meaning behind each video. But in order to do this, and I know this is going to sound crazy, need to understand the driving force behind a certain cult classic animated sitcom. Mike Judge is a man born in Ecuador in 1962 and is well known for the creation of the 90s classic Beavis and Butthead, as well as Office Space. And then, at the same time on the other side of the world, a man named Greg Daniels was born in New York and is well known for his work on the 90s classic The Simpsons as well as for co-creating The Office in Parks and Recreations. One day in 1996, Mike Judge partnered with Greg Daniels and pitched an animated television show to Fox. Not about a man, not about a family, but about a whole community. Or more directly, a neighborhood. This pitch later became King of the Hill and would last 13 more seasons. Now, King of the Hill is very much stylistically a Mike Judge creation. His character design, sense of humor, and voice work all protrude a level of charm unique to Mike Judge himself. However, the quick wit and amazing episodic stories with brilliant writing and character interactions is very much a product of Greg Daniels and his staff's contributions. Since the show is about a neighborhood, a lot of the conflicts and stories revolve around very topical and relatable subjects. Since the topics are so realistic and relatable in nature, the show is hardly comparable to any other animated sitcom of the time, like The Simpsons or, say, South Park, which were both going on around the same time and usually had more bombastic and, quite frankly, insane stories. 
King of the Hill was far more grounded in reality. It was a dark comedy, not in the way of disturbing jokes or visuals, but in how the real world could be dark and rejecting. I know what you're saying. What could this channel possibly have to do with King of the Hill? Well, King of the Hill, or under the acronym COF, is interwoven with this channel on many levels. All of these videos could technically be described as YouTube poops, since every video is a major edit of either a COF episode or a TV show from the early 80s called Cosmos. But they're not like YTPs. YouTube poops are just that. Their excrement blasted onto the site with no warning or taste. Aliento's YTPs are a little different. They're definitely not comedy, that's for sure. Or at least I think. The only way to really showcase what I mean is just to watch some. I thought that the best place to start would be with his most viewed video. It's an edit of the King of the Hill episode, Keeping Up With Our Joneses. Just from the first 10 seconds, you can tell that these edits are not for humor's sakes. Or if so, well, I'm not laughing. I think that the last way someone would describe these edits as is subtle. But that's actually far from the truth. It's little audio cues and small visual changes like Bobby's nose suddenly disappearing. Another thing about these cough edits is they always have the same intro. The cough emblem behind a black background with a sharp breath sound effect, it's very chilling to say the least. Another clear thing that I've noticed is Hank is always set as the antagonist, or no, not even antagonist, but just this figure or supernatural being used to strike fear. Now clearly, a lot of these visual edits are just plain silly looking, but that is in every way intentional. Using familiar characters that you can find comfort with and twisting their personalities and realities to disturb you that's something that I think YTPs unintentionally do to attempt comedy, but I think Aliantos perfects this to get a far different reaction out of the audience. Fine day, isn't it, boy? Isn't it, boy? Here is a great example of these videos' strongest attribute, the audio. Long dead silence interrupted by overactive and disruptive sound effects of things like sipping and lip smacking gives these videos a feeling of isolation when the only thing you could hear are the most minute of sound effects being amplified. The next video is an edit of Koth's pilot. You'll notice everything I brought up in the last video is only heightened here, since this came out three years after the last. What. The. Hell. I know what you're thinking. What was the original clip from the show like? What you listening to, son? I don't think you like it. Well, why not? I like this new generation of music. Hello? 
As you can observe, Aliantos took a fart joke and turned it into an uncanny feeling of dread and confusion. So you ready to kick some wild cat butt? Okay. It's not hard to tell that this video has a far more somber tone. Almost a feeling of helplessness. That's a feeling that the entire first season of King of the Hill pulled off unintentionally in my opinion. Since it was a new show with a relatively low budget, characters couldn't be as expressive as maybe they'd hope. So until probably season 3, characters always had a hopeless, defeated expression that wouldn't change all that much. The reason I bring this up is because Aliantos takes advantage of this and runs with it. Now of course the realistic zoom in shots are silly, but they just can't help but give me an uncanny valley feel. It's hard for me not to chuckle at how dumb this looks, but it's also hard for me not to at the very least be, I don't know, creeped out. This next one is his most recent cough edit, May of 2019. It's an edit of Peggy's Turtle Song, a season 2 episode of Cough. Mr. Hill, I've diagnosed your son with a disorder. 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 He's probably had it for years. Personally, I recommend putting him on medication. As you can see from that intro, the editing has come a long way. As you may be able to tell, Bobby is presented as the helpless, almost relatable protagonist, especially when you account on him being just as confused as we are. Take your first pill now. You will place it in your mouth. It's also almost like a representation of real ADHD medication. Because before Bobby takes the pill, everything is kind of hyperactive and only focused on one thing implying maybe a false diagnosis. But once he takes that pill, the entire world blends into one point of focus, leaving him in a drugged, sort of hyper-aware state. It seems to leave him zombified. When's my next pill?
There once was a turtle that lived in her shell. The shell was her home and her prison as well. Good night, everybody. I know you must have a lot of questions. Like, who is this guy? Sadly, I was not able to find him. I assume that he's some guy that was paid on Fiverr to say this, or maybe it could be Aliantos himself, but personally, I find that hard to believe. The next video is called Clouds. It starts with an edit of a dream sequence from the original episode, only it's not played off as such. There's no sound effects, only just this dark veering song. Sadly, I can't play it due to copyright, but believe me, it's unsettling. Clouds? 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 Now, in the original episode, Hank is disappointed that Bobby paints his room cloud-themed, so it only makes sense that Alientos would turn this into something twistedly repetitive. I'm sorry if my comments are becoming repetitive and stale at this point, but I can hardly comment. It's too strange and unique to even grasp it. I'm sorry, but you're on your own for this next part. In the original episode, Hank wants to know how Peggy was used in a magic trick, and Peggy won't tell him. This is how that scene goes in the original. Peggy! Peggy, come here quick! I figured it out! All right, how's it done? Get in the box, you'll see. But why can't you just tell me? Please? Okay, now what? Now you tell me how that trick was done. What? You're not getting out till you tell me. Hey, Kill. I can wait. <sighs> All right. Now this is what happens in Aliantos's version. Get in the box. Get, 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 get. In, in, in. The box. The box. The box. This last video I'll be talking about is a little different. In fact, it's not even a cough edit, but rather a cosmos edit. This video is labeled as just simply Consequences. Released May 21st of 2021, it is his most recent video and contains the clip that I showed at the beginning of this video. Now, I'm not gonna play this clip again because obviously I already showed it, but I do have some comments that I'd like to share. Namely, how well this clip was able to make me feel both unsafe and disturbed. But stop to think about what's actually happening here. A man walks into a store, orders a glass of water, and drinks it. Nothing unsettling about that in the slightest. But it's not the actions of these characters that disturbs me, but rather the twisted nature that the world presents it in. If it's not already clear, Alantos is trying to go for a nostalgic VHS, like, recorded film aesthetic. Well, with the screen tearing and echoed audio, this may just seem like a generic artsy choice, but when you really stop to think about why, it's clear that Elientos uses this VHS aesthetic to wiggle into your safe zone, aka your childhood, and that nostalgic feeling that goes with it. And once that's achieved, the goal is to twist these comforting characters and memories into something more sinister and 
well, quite honestly, realistic. One special thing about this video is that the storyline is right in front of you. It's obvious and takes no time to hide itself. It's a simple story of wrath. And not only that, this video has a far more cinematic feel, and I think that it's in part to the amazing audio work and editing done by Alientos. Where we are now. Like I said, Alantos has a Patreon where you can order commissions, and that's how Consequences was made. This channel has left me scratching my head for years, and I know that I'm not the only one who feels this way. These videos have left a lasting effect on me that I will not soon forget. Do I know what's in store for Alantos in the future? Well, if I did, this would be a very different video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, hopefully.